What's up everyone and welcome to Video Game Book Club. Recently I've bought a Famicom and a Famicom Disk System and that's mainly due to people like Metal Jesus Rocks and John Riggs who make these really good videos about hidden gems on those platforms. And that got me kind of wondering how hard is it to hook these systems up to a modern American HD television? Well, let's take a look. Some Famicoms today have an AV output mod that make connecting these to a modern television a whole lot easier, but today we're focusing on the Famicom that has the RF switch still built into it. That one can be a little bit trickier, especially for people who have never dealt with them before. So let's get into it. If your Famicom came with its original RF cable, that's pretty awesome. But don't use it to connect the console to your US TV. Make sure to use the common gray box American Nintendo RF cable that accompanied any of the US console releases. Plug this end of the cable into the RF switch port on the back of your console and make sure the TV game switch is set to game. Alright, for me, this may be the hardest step. Securing the end onto the cable input into your TV. My hands are big, and the space to tighten the cable is tiny and upside down. At least it is on this Vizio TV. Whoever came up with this standard probably had smaller hands, and I know on my Sony CRT, it sticks out horizontally. really can't do anything until you plug everything into power. My Famicom disk system came with the original power cord, but for the Famicom, I am using an American NES cable. Easy peasy. And if you want to use batteries, the Famicom disk system takes 6C batteries. Choosing a channel setting can be a bit confusing. Japan channels 1 and 2 are not the same as American channels 1 and 2. Channel frequency divisions in the US are a little different, so Japan channel 1 is US channel 95 and Japan channel 2 is US channel 96. After deciding which channel you want to play on, insert your game of choice. For this video, I'll start with NES Golf, Japan course on the Famicom Disk System. I'll take a look at some others just for fun, but for now, let's turn on our system. And that pretty much sums it up. It's not that hard to connect a Famicom to a modern television, but it is a little bit trickier than connecting, say, a GameCube to your HD TV. And while my collection of import games is nowhere near the size of John Riggs or Metal Jesus Rocks, I'm slowly building that way, and it's a fun system to collect for. Plus, these are really cool. So let me know below in the comments if you are collecting any Japanese import games and what systems they're for. And until next time, take care everyone.